So it's been a few days since the A's deal in Oakland blew up, largely because the A's leaked an announcement to purchase land in Las Vegas smack in the middle of a negotiating session with the city of Oakland. This was going to be the week-long session in which, if they could not come to a deal, the A's and Oakland could walk their separate ways together, at least with a unified messaging front. That was all blown up when the news came out that the A's had agreed to purchase land in Las Vegas. Now, Rob Manfred, the MLB commissioner, in the midst of a story in which a team is about to be ripped out of its home, a generational value, a team that won four world championships here in Oakland, a team with a whole bunch of fans that are hoping that they can find a way to stay. They're going to be pulled to Las Vegas if he gets his way, and you'd think he would have struck a sympathetic tone. You know, one towards AIDS fans that would make him feel a little better about things? Here's what he said instead. I feel sorry for the fans in Oakland. I really do, he said. But for the city of Oakland to point fingers at John Fisher, it's not fair. Well, hold on. Let's just set the record straight real quick here. Who does Rob Manford work for? The owners. Rob Manford isn't about what's best for the game of baseball as a whole. He's for what is best for the billionaire owners. In this case, John Fisher. He's the one who owns the A's. So of course he's going to get John Fisher's back here. Let's keep going. We have shown an unbelievable commitment to the fans in Oakland by exhausting every possible opportunity to try to get something done in Oakland, he added. Unfortunately, the government doesn't seem to have the will to get it done. The government! Oh, the convenient boogeyman of the government, right? In this political era? Yeah, let's, let's pin it on the government, right? But here's where I have a problem. Because it's not really all on the government of Oakland. Now, is it? Let's just look at facts here. Nothing but facts. The A's asked the city of Oakland to raise $352 million. They raised three hundred and seventy-five. million. The A's asked the city to get an EIR passed. The A's paid for the cost. The city produced the EIR. The city council certified the EIR. It got challenged in court. They won the lawsuit. They did what they were asked. The A's wanted land cleared at Howard Terminal. What happened? The port, the city, they stepped up. They got the land cleared by the BCDC. Port priority use area designation was removed. Check. Check, check, check. So basically, everything the A's in Major League Baseball asked Oakland to do, they did. That's not on them that you're wanting to leave still. You know, sources had told me this deal was about 90% when the A's backed out. That the real number pending the last grants that are supposed to come in this summer could have been as low as $88 million. They were so close, which begs the question, did they even want to build this after all? Had they extended themselves way too far? Was this project just way too big? It's far more than a ballpark, right? It's housing, commercial, real estate, public land, all this stuff on the port of Oakland. It was huge, maybe too huge. In Vegas, it's a much simpler approach now, isn't it? A $1.5 billion ballpark. But hold up, they need $500 million in public funds to get that done. And that's not a lock either. Here's what Clark County Commissioner Michael Naft had to say about it. In response to that $500 million in funds, he said, asking for and getting are two very different things. Now, isn't that the truth? Back to Rob Manford and his not entirely honest statement here. To me, it ought to be all positive on the competition front, he said when talking about whether or not the A's will be able to win in Las Vegas, you got really smart baseball operations people. You got owners that want to win. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. The A's won a lot of games, but how many big free agents did John Fisher sign? He inherited the Eric Chavez deal, six years, 66 million. They never signed a deal bigger than that after. If the A's really wanted to win, when they were a 97 win team and had a chance to get over the hump, they would have extended a qualifying offer to Marcus Semyon. They would have actually signed somebody to get them over the hump and actually compete. That's what they would do if they really wanted to win. You got owners that want to win and I think Las Vegas will present a real revenue enhancing opportunity. So I think you're going to have a good product. 
Wow, what a sales job by MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred. Not John Fisher's fault. Blame the government. Yes. Not the billionaire's fault, definitely the government's fault, because the government wouldn't give the billionaire a bunch of free money. Now he's turning to Las Vegas, where again, the billionaire is asking the public and the government for more free money. Another half-baked, not complete deal announced by the A's. Remember Laney College Peralta site? Announced they were going to build there before they had all the votes in order? Things don't work when you do it like that. You gotta have everything buttoned up. So here's Rob Manfred getting his billionaire owners back, to be expected. I just want to know why, Rob. Why would you not do an interview with someone like me or anybody else that will actually ask you pointed and real questions? And I think the answer is because you don't want to give the real answers. We know the facts. The facts matter. So at this point, the A's are going to focus on Vegas. The city of Oakland is going to kick back and see if anything else happens. If the A's in Oakland can come back to the table, who knows? Shang Tao said that she was open to it, but the ball is in the A's court. Uh, sources have told me that the city would probably much rather deal with the new ownership group, but there's no way that's going to happen unless they strike out in Vegas and then come back, sell the team, and somebody comes around to keep them here. This saga, folks... As much as it seems like it's drawing to an end may just be getting started, and that is absolutely bonkers because it's gone on too long. And I'm just going to leave you with this one last thing. I had two different sources tell me that when the port approached the A's about extending the exclusive negotiating agreement for the land of Howard Terminal, needed to be done by May 12th, that's coming up real quick, the A's didn't express interest in doing so ahead of this week-long negotiating summit where they were going to hammer out the deal. What does that tell you about the A's intentions going into that summit? Were they really there to strike a deal, or were they just trying to blow things up that week, and that's why they announced Las Vegas when they did? It's an interesting thing to think about. Maybe when Shang Tao was so upset in that press conference, it was because they weren't acting in their own best interests as negotiating partners. The A's have not been engaged as good partners in these efforts. So we'll see what happens as this saga continues, but it's really hard for me to blame the government and the government alone. Sure, the government always has lots of warts, <laughs> but when you look at it, the A's spent so many years on Fremont. They spent so many years on San Jose and suing Major League Baseball and trying to get the antitrust exemptions. Like They spent so much time on those failed deals, that is it really Oakland's fault that this has dragged on for as long as it has? I mean, in earnest, they really only went back to Oakland in about 2017 when they went after the Laney College site and failed there and then shifted to Howard Terminal in 2018. And guess what else happened in that span? Oh yes, a global pandemic that shut down the whole world. Again, blame the government of Oakland for that too. Why don't you, Rob? So, we'll see where this goes. The twists and turns continue, and we'll just see what happens on April 28th when the A's return home to the Oakland Coliseum. That is going to be such a weird scene. Such a weird scene. I'll be there. I'm just going to sit in the dugout with my microphone and wait. See if anybody wants to talk.